What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the OU tier. Today we have a team that I grabbed from the Smogon forums uh, that has a Gengar on it. And at first I was skeptical of it, but you know what? Gengar is actually really interesting this gen because... Um, I was about to say Konami, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, Game Freak or Nintendo uh, or whoever is in charge of making uh, bans and, and, what, and changes to mons and whatnot... Um, they changed Gengar's ability from Levitate to Curse Body this gen. And in in a way, they did it because of VGC, because of the 50-50s it created with Mega, Mega Gengar in there, uh, with the, uh, the common Paris Trap teams and whatnot, and just standard Mega Gengar in, uh, in VGC. But Curse Body actually ends up helping Gengar a little bit because uh, it's able to come in on moves that don't knock it out necessarily, or even ones that do on certain mons and if you disable a move with curse body if you get that 30 percent it can swing the game in your favor let's say for example um Faramosa goes for ice beam and uh it's choice specs and it knocks out gengar and you get the curse body and you follow it up by going into your scarfed garchomp and proceed to sweep a team with the, the team with earthquake that is ridiculous. Like, some of the things that Gengar does, because it has Curse Body now, is just so good. And this team, I'll show you guys what it can do. I've been having a lot of success with it. With it. Uh, I actually climbed the ladder a little bit if we check right now. I'll show you guys where I'm at. Um, uh, I'm at 162 on the ladder, so uh, quite decent, actually, compared to where I was uh, just a few days ago, actually. I'm recording this right before an NPL Miners game, too, so... Uh, I'm just trying to like get myself into the mood. This is what I sometimes do before I have uh, important league matches or just league matches in general I'll play a little bit of OU uh, just to get myself in the mood of Pokemon And this is not the kind of game that I wanted to get myself into the mood of Pokemon guys. I'll tell you right now <laughs> This is not what I wanted to see Sorry about that um, This is gonna be hell <laughs> to say the least This is gonna be absolute hell um, Yeah, he's got he's got a ridiculous team how am I going to beat this? I have Water Shuriken on Greninja over Hydro Pump because it, it saves me in a lot of situations. So I decided to, to change that up. That's the one change I made to the team. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I think I'm just going to lead off with... Uh, honestly... Honestly, Gengar. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with Gengar. As much as I don't want to because he has a Chansey, he has a, uh, a Doug Trio in the back that can trap me and kill me. Um... I'm just gonna fire off a shadow ball I'm just gonna go for it and let's see what he does he goes for a protect that's fine I'm gonna go for the shadow ball he might know this set so he might want to go directly into Doug trio or into Chansey uh, so I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm actually gonna go into Landorus here let's see what he does he decides to go for a switch out into his Chansey fantastic okay so now we're gonna Swords Dance up and uh, if he goes Skarm I'm gonna go for the rocks on the following turn because I want to I want to get those up and if he goes into Quag, um, he shouldn't go into Quag first. He should either go into Sableye or into Skarmory. So, yeah, this is a super annoying matchup. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. He does go into Quag first. All right, so uh, he must know the team. Um, all right, I'm going for Rocks. I'm getting up, I'm up now. Uh, I don't care if he scalds me. Uh, he doesn't burn me, though, so that's nice. I am going to go straight out into my uh, Tangrowth on this. Let's see what he does. Uh, he goes for another skull. That's fine. Uh, he doesn't burn me again. That's awesome. And now I'm going to go out into Gengar. Because Gengar puts on a tremendous amount of pressure now. Uh, and if I catch the Skarmory, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick expecting the Chansey. Get rid of its EV Light. I don't care if I get rid of my choice specs. It's a lot better than having his uh, Chansey switch in on my Gengar every single time. It's a lot better. So I'm expecting his Skarm to come in here. Uh, as a result, I went into Gengar. He's not going to want to stay in, so I'm going to go for the trick. Uh, on his Mega Sableye. Okay, so he decides to go into that first. So, decent play. I can respect it. Um, I think I'm going to go Greninja. As he goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Awesome, okay. So, that's what I wanted to dodge was a, uh, a burn on any, any one of my physical attackers. And uh, we got it. So, I'm going to go for... He's not going to want to take a Hydro Pump with this thing. Do I just go for Spikes? Start racking up the hazards? 
Or do I go for a water shuriken? This is where having a hydro pump would be really nice. But unfortunately, I don't have it, so... Uh, I'm just gonna go for the water shuriken. He's gonna stay in. He's gonna take very little from this. As, uh, let's see what he goes for next. We actually get a, a few hits off. And he's gonna go for a recover to scout. Okay, so good play on his part. Uh, I could see him going for another will-o-wisp here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a gung shot, try to get a poison. If I can get a poison on the Sableye, that would be really cool. We do not get it. He goes for another Willow, yep, as expected. And uh, now I'm going to... Uh, now I'm gonna go into Gengar and see what he does. He goes for Protect, okay, that's fine. Uh, he's gonna Protect again, so knowing that, what can I do? Uh, I think I just Shadow Ball here. He goes for another Protect, that's fine. And I'm actually gonna Shadow Ball again. Even though his Chansey can come in, I'm not expecting it to. Because I doubled out last time. So let's see how good of a player he is. He does go into Chansey, okay. So even though the threat of the, of the double was there, he did make the play into Chansey. Uh, that's fine. What I'm gonna wanna do is, uh, I don't know anymore actually. <laughs> this is a tough situation. Um, would have been nice to double there, but I mean, ultimately his Quagsire comes in on my Lando even if I try to set up on it, so. Uh, I'm gonna go Metagross. We'll see what we can do. He goes for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. I'm going to attempt to go for a Thunder Punch right here. No, I'm gonna go for a Mash first, as he does go into Quagsire. Awesome, okay. So we're gonna go for Mash. Uh, the attack raise isn't gonna help. We, we miss anyway, so that's really annoying. Um, I'm gonna go for a Quake and see what he does. He goes out into a Skarmory, I guess, predicting my Tangrowth. I'm going to go for a T-Punch and see if he uh, expects me to have it or not. He does go back into his Quagsire, so his Skarm is pretty low, actually. It's going to come back in at 63. Um, I'm just going to go into Tangrowth here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go into Tangrowth. And uh, he's going to go for a Skull. Does he get the burn? No, he does not. Awesome. And I don't really want to knock off here because Skarm gets to come in for free. So I'm going to go into Gengar again. Let's see what he does. He goes for the Earthquake. So great play on his part. Getting rid of my Gengar. <laughs> just like that. That was nice. That was nice. I'll admit it. Um, had it, had I stayed in and just gone for the Giga Drain, that would have been a dead uh, a dead Quagsire right there. Or at least very weakened. Um, yeah, this is going to be really tough now. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to go into Metagross here. I can't Giga Drain because his Skarm is still around. So... I gotta keep, uh, aren't you supposed to be the aggressive player? <laughs> yeah, I, I was the aggressive player, bro. Uh, he goes into Skarm, yep. And, uh, now I think I need, uh, what I need to do is go for a Quake crit on his Quagsire. I don't think I have, I have another play. As he does bring back in the Quag. Let's see it. We do not get the crit. Crit wouldn't even matter at this point, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go for another Quake. Let's see what he does. He does stay in. He chooses to go for the recover. That's fine. I'm going to go for another Quake. What does he do? He goes for a Skull. Does he burn me? Yes, he does. Okay, so he finally gets it. Uh, he can easily go into Skarm here. Uh, I'm going to go for a T-Punch. He does stay in. There's nothing I can do anymore. This, there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to forfeit. Uh, when I lost my Gengar, I lost the game. So he made a very nice read there. Uh, it's very risky, though, because Lando could have swept him. But such is the game. <laughs> he, uh, he made a very aggressive play for a, uh, for a stall player. It's actually quite surprising. This is the kind of matchup I want to see. All right, now, now, now we're going to get rolling with this team. Sorry about that last game, guys. Now we got it. Let's go. All right, so I see a Tapu Koko potential lead. Uh, that's very threatening. However, I do have the Scarf Chomp. I have the Tangrowth. I'm going to lead off with Tangrowth. Tangrowth doesn't really lose to anything except for Scizor. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Nocturne one and see what he wants to do. He's going to go for a U-turn, which is kind of what I expected. I just want to get rid of an item if possible. He's going to go into his Marowak, so I get to knock this thing off and get rid of its Thick Club. So that's awesome. So now it's not going to be hitting nearly as hard. Uh, I'm just going to go straight into Lando here and see if he makes a double into Keldeo. Uh, he chooses to go for a Wisp instead. Thick Club, Wisp. Okay. All right. So that's an interesting combination. Uh, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks here. He's probably going to do the same. Yep, he's Thick Club, two attacks, Will-O-Wisp, Stealth Rock. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go for SD. He's probably going to go for a Shadow Bone. Yep, 
and that's going to do nearly nothing. And uh, I'm just going to go for a Continental Crush on this turn, just in case he wanted to switch out into Lando or into Gyarados. Uh, I do get rid of the Marowak, so that's nice. He's going to go out into his own Lando. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stone Edge. I do have um, Water Shuriken online, so that's nice. He's going to go to plus two. Just going to go for another Edge. He goes for Rock Polish. Uh, I miss my Edge, unfortunately. Uh, but like I said, I have Water Shuriken in the back. He's going to miss his Edge, so a little bit of Justice. We do hit ours. And uh, he is now in Bullet Punch range as well. So uh, just going to go for another Edge. He does hit his. That's fine. Uh, all right, now we go Ninja. And uh, we fire off a Water Shuriken. And if he switches out, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Because if he goes Scizor, I'm still a Water type, so he can't Bullet Punch me for too much damage. He goes Gera. Okay. He's going to get off an... Uh, he does not get off an Intimidate. He's Moxie. That's good to know. As uh, what I'm going to do... I'm Life Orb, so I'm going to go for a Gunk Shot here. We are going to get it off, and uh, his Gyarados is going to drop to that Gunk Shot. That was incredible. That is nice. All right, in comes Tapu Koko. I have a Tangrowth. Uh, I do want to save this for his, um, for his Scizor because I have HP Fire, and basically the only thing that uh, doesn't take the HP Fire right now is his Keldeo. Uh, I mean, takes the HP fire as his Keldeo. So I'm going to go Chomp, actually, because I don't have a lot of use for Guard Chomp this game, as he is going to go for the HP Ice, so great play. Uh, however, I'm going to go for the Rock Slide here. And uh, if I catch the Lando, great. If I don't, if he stays in, that's cool. Uh, he does get flinched. I could see him wanting to go into Scizor here. Um, the thing is, if Scizor gets up a Swords Dance, I'm in a bad position. So I need to make a play here. And I think I need to go into Ninja. We'll see what he does. He does go out into Scizor. Okay, fantastic. Let's go for the HP Fire. I'm still not in range of Bullet Punch. Even after Life Orb, even after the next Stealth Rock hit, I'm not in range of Bullet Punch. So I should be okay. Uh, he does choose to stay in on my HP Fire, and his Scizor drops to a crit. I don't think that mattered. I could be wrong, though. Uh, in comes his Keldeo. I think he just loses to Tangrowth at this point, so I am just going to... I'm going to preserve this regardless, uh, because again, I don't need Chomp, necessarily, because his Coco is already in range of Bullet Punch, I believe. Um, I don't want to get Tangrowth burned is the thing, because it has Earthquake for his Coco, and I don't want to get to, to get worn down either. So I am going to save Ninja, but I'm not sure what to sack. I think my sack is Gengar, 100%. Is definitely Gengar. He goes for Scald. He does not knock me out, confirming that he is more than likely Scarfed. So that's good to know. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. If he Scalds again and he outspeeds us, then that confirms our suspicions. If he switches out, something is dead. <laughs> Regardless. So he could think that I'm Scarfed as well. That's always on the table. Because I he doesn't see an item. So he does just go for another Scald. That is fine. I'm going to go out into Tangrowth. Just going to fire off a Giga Drain. If he brings in Tapu Koko, what I'll do is I will go into Metagross, at which point I will be able to get off a Bullet Punch, because he's going to live the combination of Rocks and Giga Drain more than likely. He's actually going to forfeit, so that's going to be GG. Uh, we are back up to 1699. I lost a lot of points from that first game. I do not like facing Stall with this team, because it doesn't have a true Stall Breaker, so you have to make a lot of plays around them. It's really tailored to take on Balance and other Offense. It's really good at that, uh, which is why I decided to switch out Hydro Pump for um, for Water Shuriken was because if this team is meant to deal with offense, it should have two forms of priority and not just one. Bullet Punch is not enough in a lot of cases. Like, look against my opponent. He just brings in Lando. He can switch in Greninja on my, on my Bullet Punch. I want to have other options, so that's why I decided to go that route. Um... <laughs> Now, the thing is, he can very easily lead with Faramosa, or he can lead with Coco. I think my best play is to lead off with Tangrowth, because Coco, I feel like, is a better lead for him than Faramosa. But I guess he doesn't feel that way. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go hard. Uh, no. Hard Lando is probably not the best play. Gengar is a decent switch into Faramosa most of the time. Then again, Faramosa can't knock me out with anything, can it? I don't believe it can. Not even a U-turn, so maybe a lunge, if it had it. Uh, I'm going to go for knock. We'll see what he does. He goes for quiver. Okay. 
That's a little bit scary, but he does lose his, uh, well, he doesn't have, okay, he's Z Crystal. Interesting. Um, he's probably gonna go for Bug Buzz right here. There's not much I can do about it. Um, yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> I kind of wish I HP iced, because I would have done a little bit more, and I think it would have put him in Bullet Punch range. I think he's already in Bullet, bullet Punch range. I could be wrong, but, uh, what I need the least? Garchomp is really nice this game. Uh, outspeeds that, 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 and that. That, 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 and that. All right. Uh, how badly do I need Lando? Well, now that I know this is special, I guess it's nice for Intimidate on Mawile. Um, you know what? Gengar doesn't do much this game because of Sucker Punch. It's outsped by one, two, three other members. So Gengar is definitely the sack here. As he's going to go for the Bug Buzz. That is not going to be enough. Uh, he gets his Bug Buzz disabled. So, I think he's going to be forced to Ice Beam. Can I take advantage of this in some way? Yeah, I'm going to go Metagross. I'm going to keep my uh, my Gengar. He's going to go for Ice Beam. That's fine. He has the All Out Pummeling, but I have the Bullet Punch. So I'm going to go for it here. He's probably going to be tempted to go for the All Out Pummeling. Yep, and he's down to 8%. He's going to kill off Metagross, but it's fine. Because, again, he's got a bunch of members that outspeed it. Uh, <laughs> and he's still disabled. So... Uh, he doesn't have Bug Buzz online. Uh, I'm gonna go into Ninja. Just fire off a Water Shuriken. Because his best switching is his own Greninja. He might want to keep his Feromosa around. I wouldn't. Yeah, he doesn't. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna knock that out. We are Protean Water Shuriken. Uh, not the best set. Not the worst, though. Uh, I like Tangrowth as a switch in here. <laughs> See? Curse Body 2 OP, please nerf. Uh, he goes for Extra Sensory. That's not gonna do much at all. Uh, I don't know what he was expecting there. Why did he go for extra sensory on my Greninja? Well, because I was a water type, right? Okay. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to go for Earthquake here. He goes for Gunk Shot, turns himself into a poison type, misses, and I'm able to knock him out with the Earthquake. That sucks, dude. Wow. Like, I figured he'd have Gunk Shot, but I couldn't really play around it. So, <laughs> wow, what a horrible turn for my opponent. That is so bad. All right, um, he has the sludge here, right? Yeah, I think he has the sludge. No, he could also go for a shadow ball. I'm not sure. How much do I need Lando? I already, um, I mean, it's good for his own Lando. I definitely need Tangrowth because of his uh, Tapu Koko. So I'm gonna keep that. I was gonna sack Gengar earlier, so I'll go into it now. As he does go for the sludge wave, so that works out. He is Life Orb. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball here. As he wins the speed tie, knocks us out. That's a little bit of justice, I guess, uh, for him. But now, what do I wanna do about this? If I go Chomp, he just goes into his Lando. That's what I need gone, is his Landorus. Um, all right, he's seen Water Shuriken, but he hasn't seen anything else on Greninja. I could be anything. So, I don't really need a spike up, though. Yeah, uh, I think, I think at this point, letting my Lando get weakened is not the end of the world. So, I'm just going to go for an Earthquake here. As he does switch into his own Landorus, so, basically what's going to happen now is that I'm going to Swords Dance up. I am faster. As he goes for Stealth Rocks, so this is really nice for me. Because now I can go for a Continental Crush. He can switch out into his Mawile if he wants, but then he, he still has to take an Earthquake after, so. He's gonna let his Lando take this hit, which is huge. Uh, and I'm gonna crit it, too. Uh, now Garchomp sweeps. <laughs> so, that was uh, amazing for me. Terrible for my opponent. I'm gonna go for a Quake here. He's gonna go for the Shadow Ball. It's only gonna do 60, even from a Life Orb Gengar. Goodbye, Gengar. And uh, now Coco comes in. Except I still have Tangrowth, uh, which I'm going to not bring in directly. I'm just going to go for a Quake. He has Eden Power Ice anyway, so there's no point. Uh, I'm just going to go into Growth now. I am AV. I'm going to go for the Quake. Uh, he does go for Hidden Power Ice. That's fine. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch out into my Greninja on his following HP Ice, hopefully, as he does. Yep. And then I'm going to go for a Water Shuriken. It should knock him out from this range if I get three hits, which I do not. And he's going to go for another Hidden Power Ice. 
Uh, I'm going to go for a another water shuriken. And then I'm going to go for an HP fire on his uh, on his Mawile. And hopefully this does enough. <laughs> He's probably going to Swords Dance, so hopefully. Uh, that does It leaves him at 11%, so now I can just go for Water Shuriken. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. So that's going to be another win. Whew. All right, so we're 2-1. Uh, that stall team at the beginning, that took up like 9 minutes. Well, my rambling at the beginning probably took up about 2. Uh, but the stall game took like 8 minutes, and the two other games took a total of like 10 or 11. So just to show you how annoying stall is to play against, because it's long, man. It's a, it's a long, draggy game. You have to make every play perfect. You have to make sure that your opponent doesn't make plays. It's, uh, yeah, anyway. So, moving on into the next game. By the way, if, you're guys, if you guys are wondering, I'm drinking, um, should I say this? My, my videos are monetized. I'm drinking some uh, iced green tea. You can figure out which company it's from on your own. <laughs> All right, I played this guy earlier. Uh, I have his number. His team really does not match up well against mine. As similar as it might look, there are four similar members. Once Tangrowth and uh, Lando get weakened, Garchomp does a tremendous amount of work to my opponent. Uh, and Greninja on its own, like, almost 6 0s him. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, yeah, because Gunk Shot, Gunk Shot, Water Shuriken, uh, Hidden Power Fire. The only two things it doesn't take on are his Greninja and his Zygarde. So, uh, I'm going to lead off here with Gengar. Uh, because I know this thing is defensive. I just want to calc something. I'm going to let you guys see the full calc as usual. Uh, I just want to see Landorus. Whoa, what the heck happened here? Hold on. Let me re let me refresh this page. Sorry. All right. Let's see Landorus defensive versus Gengar, but I'm choice specs. Gengar, Life Orb Attacker, choice specs. I don't, I don't take him out. No, no way. All right, I'm going into my own Lando. As he's probably going to get a Brox. No, he goes for Earthquake. Okay, good. Uh, I guess I, I contemplated long enough for him to reconsider his decision. All right, so let's go for Rocks here. He does choose to stay in and go for his own Rocks. Uh, I am faster. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. As he is going to go for a U-Turn. So he does not have HP Ice, which is awesome. He's going to bring in his Metagross. This thing definitely has Ice Punch. Uh, I'm going to go straight into my, uh, my Metagross, my own Metagross, on his Ice Punch. It's going to do virtually nothing. Uh, as there we go. And uh, I think this is the guy that I missed two Meteor Mashes against as he hammer armed me twice. I'm going to go for Earthquake because I haven't revealed it in the last game that we played. And I get a crit. So that's a little bit of revenge for those two uh, missed Meteor Mashes and his crit hammer arm from the last game. He brings in his Greninja. I'm not too concerned. I can go into Tangrowth here. Uh, let's see what kind of ninja it is. Uh, he does go for a U-turn. That is a crit. That does look like Ash Greninja. He's going to bring in a Zygarde here. I'm going to go for HP Ice. I'm not letting this thing set up a sub in front of me. Uh, and I'm just going to repeatedly click HP Ice. I don't care what he clicks. I don't care. Yeah, that's that's fine. Go for your Toxic. Uh, I'm doing 40% to you. And uh, I will continue to click HP Ice as he continues to sub. So uh, this is good. And now what I'm going to do is uh, go directly into my Landorus. Because now... Uh, even if he gets up a sub, it doesn't matter anymore. He gets up a sub, it's fine. I can still break it with Earthquake, and he can no longer set up a sub. That crit didn't matter. He goes for a Toxic, not too big a deal. Uh, I'm actually going to go for a Swords Dance here. We'll see what he does. He goes for a Thousand Arrows. That's cool. He does 22%, smacks me down. Uh, but now I can go for a Quake. Knock out his Zygarde, and his Finny can't come in, which is the most important thing. His Greninja comes in. Uh, Tangrowth is toxic, which is a little bit annoying, I will admit. Uh, but I'm actually going to bring in my own Greninja here. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to Dark Pulse. Uh, he does choose to go for Dark Pulse. It does 28%, so that's not much at all. Uh, I am just going to go for Spikes. He's going to go for U-Turn. So he's not choiced. That's good to know. He's going to go out into his Tangrowth, and I'm just going to go for a Gunk Shot on this turn. As uh, that's going to do a lot of damage to this Tangrowth. And uh, now that I know that his uh, Greninja is in Scarf, we actually poisoned it as well, which is crazy. Uh, as he's going to be down to 4%, and I do not see Gengar switch-ins. However, I'm going to go into Tangrowth first because I want to get some Regenerator. And I'm going to switch out into my into my Metagross, because his knockoff can't do too much to me. As you can see, he gets a crit, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> that's fine. We have two layers of hazards up. Uh, we have a Mon that's faster than this with Garchomp. 
Um, I could switch in Garchomp directly. I don't really want to do that. Uh, I think I'm just going to Bullet Punch, honestly. Should I? Or do I save this thing's Bullet Punch? I have Thunder Punch and Bullet Punch. How much is Lando at? I don't even remember. How much did we do to it earlier? I don't think we did any damage. He went for Quake and then he U-turned out. Right? Went for Quake. Went for Stealth Rocks. Uh, and then he U-turned out. Yeah. Okay, so he's still at full. So... Uh, I think still conserving this is the correct play, just going into Tangrowth. As he goes for a Dark Pulse, that's fine. I'm just going to go for a Giga Drain. Uh, if he goes for a U-Turn, that's cool. I'm going to get back some health from whatever he goes into. He does go into his Landorus, so this is going to take a little bit of a hit as well. It's going to take a crit. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and uh, we'll switch out into our own Landorus. Uh, we have the Bullet Punch online now. And uh, we do have a Mon that's faster in Gengar. And uh, my opponent no longer has a switch into Gengar, so... I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball. As uh, If his Greninja comes back in after, it's fine. Uh, again, okay, well, he goes into Finny first. Interesting play. Uh, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. And I'm going to win this with uh, Garchomp. Like, there's, there's nothing he can do about my Garchomp winning now. It's Scarfed, it outspeeds him. I click Earthquake, and the game is over. So, that's going to be it. Yeah, there's the Dark Pulse. I don't really care. He becomes Ash Greninja. As you can see, he's disabled. So, interesting. I'm going to go into Garchomp. I'm still faster regardless. I go for an Earthquake here. He goes for Water Shuriken. It's not going to do much at all. He gets a crit on the third one, but I'm going to knock him out with an Earthquake. So, that's going to be GG. Unfortunate hacks a little bit in my favor in this game, but uh, it's a little bit of revenge. You guys didn't see the last game that we played, but honestly, like it was my Metagross versus his Metagross. He kept it in even though he had a Landorus. I know he hadn't seen, uh, seen Ice Punch. I went for Meteor Mash twice. Not Ice Punch. I went for Meteor Mash, and I missed both, and he hit me with a Hammer Arm the first time, lowered his own speed. I would have outsped him and hit him with an Earthquake and knocked him out from the range he was at, and then I would have been fine, but he crit the second hammer arm as I missed another Meteor Mash. So, a uh, little bit of justice back in our in our court, and uh, that ends up working out. So we go 3-1 this episode. Uh, if you guys want to use the uh, the team, I'll probably link the actual thread on Smogon uh, to, the, uh, to the Rate My Team. It's a very solid team, honestly. As you guys can see, 1737 is our score. Uh, if I just put a few dots in here, uh, you'll see that come up. But uh, if I check the ladder, we're doing pretty well, I would say. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit of footing in uh, Gen 7. As you can see, we're 100th on the ladder. We're, we are top 100, my friends. Finally. <laughs> it's been too long. Uh, I love League. I know this guy. Wait a minute. <laughs> I've, I've definitely seen that guy somewhere. Um, Fuga is pretty high up. Wow. Uh, so is Blunder. Or that's just Blunder's ult that all the guys use. Yeah, some uh, ABR. There we go. Yeah, some of the uh, the usuals uh, up here at the top. Hopefully, I can keep this streak going and uh, meet up with them in uh, in a short amount of time. But yeah, like I said, guys, if you want to use the team alongside me, I'll leave a, a link to the thread in the description down below. So be sure to check that out. Uh, grab the uh, the importable. I had to do a little bit of adjustment because there was spacing between every single line. So I might just leave a paste pin to the team as well if you guys want to copy it from there. But definitely go check out the thread if you want a full detailed explanation of how the team works. Um, what the threats are to it. The the author leaves some really, really good uh, explanation as uh, as far as the team goes and how he built it. So uh, definitely go and check that out. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for us, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later.